So I have just redone my basically only 3D printed Canon uh, little launcher. Um, this is flexible PLA. The rest is, well, this is PETG and this is rock PLA. Here's the last version of it. As you can see, it's like scaled up 40% about. Um, maybe you can see it clearly from the top. It's made more powerful and also more efficient. I'm gonna show you how. Here's the first version. Even this version at a 10 degree shooting angle, it would shoot from here straight to the top of the wall, miss all the targets. So that's why on this one, I made it only a five degree shooting angle. But for this, it's also a five degree shooting angle, except I added this base plate that I put it on that lowers it back down to a zero degree shooting angle. And that is because I'm tired of shooting over the targets. <laughs> And I did want at least a little elevation so it could travel over the floor. And that's the test that you're about to see. Um, you're all gonna get one test in this video, but the rest are you're gonna stay tuned for the better ammo. Um, I already glued this on, but basically the first version of this was just a hole in there and the air would go in there. And um, it was fully 3D printed, but that thing broke off after so many ammo, loading the ammo. So I put the screw on there, but now what I did instead for this one, so I guess I could show you here on the, let me mount you guys. So what I did for these other two versions, <coughs> instead of having a stopper there, and it made it more efficient too, is I made another ring inside where the barrel goes, and then the ring inside actually is smaller than the barrel. So when you do have the ammo, it comes to the edge, and the air will come through the middle of the ammo. Let me give an example of one, if I could grab one real quick. So basically this goes exactly into the barrel, but then it'll seal the inside. And that's the stopper instead of a thing in the middle. Uh, and then the air would definitely push only on the ins in inside part of this, not on the all the way on the outside, being more efficient. Um, not only that, instead of just giving it a little cut in the middle here, I made a loft from the inner part of the pushy thing. Oh, you can see it through here through this to the outer part of the ring right here maybe let me hold on analytics uh, analysis real quick there as you can see it quickly forms a ring outside this where the air maximizes it doesn't like scatter around like it would in a flat surface like i did in my first ones it'll just it's maximized to just redirect it to the barrel right away and it's also bigger so it's more powerful so let's have our first first test um, of it together right now. <clears throat> so there are the targets. <clears throat> let's see if we can go straight and hit it. First, first official shot. Let's just try a regular <clears throat> round ammunition. All right, it should be there. Let's aim it somewhere towards the middle. Oh, cool, I could use you guys to aim. Oh, I could barely see from the screen. Let me use my eyeball. As you can see um, from there it did not drop or it might have dropped like one degree no I don't think it did really um, and so by the way that was just the first ammo so I got several more going this was this will be experimented on the next that was just a basic thing here we got some discarding sabots they were split across in mid-air and a solid projectile will be like the q-tip i might insert the video right now so you guys see it but these are like real ones you guys didn't like the q-tip even though my purpose was to send the q-tip remember that was my purpose not that not to make a sabot so but i, but I understand that you guys want to see better um i'll insert the q-tip piece right here but yeah stay tuned for the following videos let me know what you think if this is something maybe you guys would buy that i should uh, market to sell all right thank you peace stay tuned for the next videos Lomo.